Once upon a time, there was a brave, intrepid, and handsome explorer. He trekked near and far where man had not been and beast dared not tread. In his journeys, he gathered lots of stories, but not a soul to tell them to. This made the brave explorer sad, something he did not like to be. So he did what he was best at and set out to explore in search of a friend. One day he came across three little pigs sitting on a mountain of apples. Hello, little pigs. Would you like to hear my stories? he asked. No, thank you, they said. They cannot be traded to the farmer for apples. But they have value to me, answered the explorer. What good is it if it can't get us apples? they cried in unison. So the explorer moved on, looking to share his stories with someone who might be interested. He came across a serpent curled around a giant tree. Hello, serpent. Would you like to hear my stories? he asked. No, thank you, it said, for I know all stories. But I haven't told you them yet, answered the explorer. Knowledge is power and I know a lot, it hissed in response. So the explorer moved on, looking to share his stories with someone who might not have heard them. He came across an eagle perched atop a rock. Hello, eagle. Would you like to hear my stories? he asked. No, thank you, it said, for you would look better in my collection. The eagle spread its wings and chased the explorer. He chased them all over the forest and into the darkest corners, where the explorer had never been before. He was alone. He was scared. Why does no one want to hear my stories? he asked the trees. I traveled over land and sea to collect them, and now I wish to tell them, he cried. I will listen to your stories, a voice said. The explorer turned around to see a big, tall, friendly man with a smile and a hat. My name is Chester and I'll listen to your stories, he announced. Really? asked the explorer. Yes, really. Come along. Let's have some tea and you can tell me all about your stories. You can tell them to the children and the others, too. We all love a good story. And so it was that the explorer and Chester became the best of friends. He told him and all the little boys and girls of Wonderworld his stories. At least until he had to leave, that is. After all, an explorer without any new stories is a boring one indeed. <laughs>